Sunday. Why are you yelling? I'm not. I have nothing to say to you. I don't really prepare for these. I'm freaking out. I think, we I didn't have I think the audience could tell. <laughs> <laughs> you look tired today. Was, no, you know what happens? Every time, I, every time I wipe my face, it like turns bright red and like, you know, I, it, it's like I... Do you put pressure on it? Like, like I wipe, yeah, I look cool like that and I wipe away my youth and I look like 10 years older when my hands leave. And everyone looks at me. Unless like, you do it, it like you do it, it because you have so much depression and fears and you're trying to mask it for that three seconds. I'm not depressed at all. No? No. Well, well, well lucky you. Well, <laughs> you're the one therapist, Steve. You're yeah. conquering depression. I'm pushing it to the wayside. <laughs> you know? I'm just I'm just overwhelmed. That's it. You have a lot. Honestly, the office looks like shit. You guys are complete chaos. Well, it's because my Structure. camera hasn't... Well, fuck that. What? A not a clean spot. Yes. What? What? Are you going to... Yeah, clean it. I'm the fucking CEO. Yeah. I'm not going around here cleaning. Cluttered places gives clutter minds. I agree. My son had it clean really, really well, and then she stopped coming in. She was like, I have this two-month project. I'm going to redesign the entire office. And all she did was paint fucking baby blue. I don't... What is that? I don't know. I don't even know where that came from. And then Animal's like, I want to put fucking uh, uh, dragons. I don't, he had a design that he wanted after she did the blue thing. I was like, I don't have time to fucking paint this place or oversee people painting this place. Nothing makes sense. Nothing makes sense. See the grass in the corner though? Dude, what yeah, I want to talk about that. Like you just have so you just have fake grass growing everywhere. Yeah, you know, in my head I was just like we're just I went on Amazon and I was like literally anything that was green colored, I was like cart. Cart was like grass, plants, green sharpie, anything that was green was coming home with me. Would you say green's your favorite color now? Not at all. No. I'm not even sure why I wanted it in here. I don't have a favorite. I don't why I don't care about anything. That's that's what it comes down to. The brick is cool though. This is about the only part of this place I like. And you guys did a good job putting laying it up. But you're you're overwhelmed. Yeah. For what? What mostly the bash? Mainly the bash. The yeah. video and getting everything ready. I thought you guys finished the video, right? And we finished like, filming so it. So it's editing now. Noah's editing it. Yeah. Um yeah. No, we filmed it. We literally filmed it for like three I think I wanna say we, we used three full days to film it. Oh damn. It's gonna be a two minute video. Like, isn't that insane? It's going to be epic, though. I hope so. It came out, I think, the way we filmed it. Like, we were in, we filmed two shots in the office that we were filming from basically, like, 1 p.m. to 7 p.m. or some shit. Like, six hours of two different shots. We were filming, um, then we went to Brooklyn, to Montana's bar to film. Then we went up to Times Square. Then we went down by the Comedy Cellar. Then we went to Central Park. Then we I don't know. We got shots just fucking everywhere. Yeah. So we got a lot of footage. Oh, we went back to Emerson to film at my house here in New Jersey. We were. You brought it back to Emerson? All over the fucking place. Oh my god. Yeah. Um, and the and the crazy ass part is like every shot, we like planned how we were gonna shoot every shot down to like the movement of where I was going because we were trying to make it like highly cinematic and a really nice, nicely produced video. But the transitions from one scene to the next would be like me walking off screen, me having to walk on screen in a new place, but like- The same movement of what you did last time. And like vlogging, like this quick swipe to the next spot, quick swipe, and just like a lot of like crazy shit that we had to do take after take after take. Plus I had to get all the lines right. And- Were you nervous? Was it like acting? No, not at all. I'm actually really bad with scripts. It's kind of funny. Like anytime we need to do improv, anytime we sit here and do this, if I'm live streaming, like I'm totally fine ripping for a long time. As soon as you give me like two sentences of script, You're like, I'm like, wait, what's my second, what's the second word again? You like that national, like Jibberty Liberty. Yeah, yeah. Are we married to that? That was a big inspiration for me, that commercial. Really? Jibberty Liberty, I love that commercial. <laughs> Jibberty Mutual, yeah, yeah. that's a good quote. So yeah, it just, it just fucking took a while, but we wanted to make sure it was really nicely produced. I mean, Noah does great editing slash. He's a fucking wizard. Bro. He really is. I can't, yeah, I, I uh. We need to yell at him. Like, why are you not just doing this full time? Yeah, I really want to, like, with some of the new companies we're talking to, I, I want to keep, like, pitching them on, like, if you need video work, you need, what I'm waiting for is for this video to drop so that I could send it to, like, some of the companies we're talking with now. Like, by the way, like, this is dope. If you need this guy, lock him the fuck up, you know, because he's yeah. done so much for us. So much. So much for us. Like, anytime I'm like, yeah, we have this, this, or this. Like it's super passionate about yeah, it. Yeah, just like drop the hat. Like he's like, I'm there. I do it for you. And he used like three or four days out of his fucking time to do this. And now he's going to edit it this weekend and shit. So like, you know, I've always known down the line, I'm going to 
pay that back and hopefully a tenfold to him in, in one way or another, you know? Exactly. Um, and I think he kind of knows that too, probably. That's why he helps us out with it. But like, I'm nervous about the video, not from his standpoint, but just to make sure I've delivered the, the right like sentiment and energy into it. Cause it's like, you got to figure out who we are, what the bash is, why the fuck you want to join it and also make it cool in like a two minute period and just like, you know, express yourself the right way. So it was, it was, it was easily the most like intensive shoot we've ever done. Really? That's awesome. I think it will show. Hopefully it will show. I mean, anything you guys have done with Noah has become spectacular. Look at a BDG uh, draft weekend. Like, yeah. he, he solely does that, and that's one of the biggest videos you always have each yeah. year. So I'm excited to see it. I'm excited, yeah. And on top of that, it's like we want to set it live this upcoming week, but there's also so much to fill out on the landing page. And, like, what always ends up being a bottleneck for us is, like, the design of everything, whether it's, like, designing the merch, designing the website, designing this, and it's just, like, Literally, no one else fucking designs anything. I'm not a designer, you know? So, yeah. it's like, it always ends up getting put on me to do all this shit. So, it's like, I'm kind of bottleneck until I find someone else to do that for us, you know? And it's like, mm -hmm. it's exhausting doing that shit. Kelly's designed the NFT for us. But oh, did she? did she? Nice. Yeah, we've been going back and forth with a few designs, but, like, I don't think we gave her enough, enough like, direction for what we need. So, we've kind of been going back and forth. We are on a call with her last night. The website's, like, kind of almost done. The only problem is we're making some instructional videos and like, okay, the FAQ, right? Like the frequently asked questions page, there are going to be stuff revolving around like the NFT art itself is going to tell you what lead you're in, what draft pick you have, right? Okay. So in order for it's like, okay, FAQ, it's like, how do I know what draft pick I have? We want to put a picture of the NFT with an arrow being like, this is where you'll identify it. We can't do that without the NFT. The NFT. So it's like a bunch of those things where it's just like little things that aren't there, which holds up that and that and that. So it's like, I don't know. It's tough. I, f I feel good about the project overall where it is right now. Mm -hmm. I just like. But you need to get it out definitely before like mid July latest. E oh, I want it. I want it out by Monday. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's not a reality. But I want it out today. <laughs> <laughs> What's the last? I think we can get it out by like Wednesday of next week. We have oh, almost okay. all of the assets in place except for the actual NFT art. So, like, say tomorrow, like the drafts happen and everything, like, is the website ready to handle that? Those amount of people and everything like the oh because you're doing a, uh, it's just like a like an info page basically. oh okay like so a landing that, page where they gotcha. sign up for it yeah, they yeah. do that and then, okay. uh, and then we were on the call with sleeper like two hours ago trying to configure the actual leads themselves and that you feel good on that that i have no problem with yeah. yeah like chris will be able to take care of that sleeper will be able to help us out with that um it's realistically just like the less time the, the less time we get it out with from now till august the less time we have to market fill up 1200 spots yeah 1200 is not easy you know? that's not easy at all so Qu question on obviously you still are saying NFT. So we're, we're doing this. Have you de determined how you're going like, to money wise? ETH is at, at, like fucking shot. Everything shot. Like, yeah, um, it's an interesting spot for us. I think it's a good thing. Well, yeah, I mean, if everything survives, then that could be. Yeah. I mean, I have no doubt it's, it's going to survive and eventually go back up. But the question becomes like, how long does it take? Because the last crypto crash was four or five years, you know, it was 2017. You had to wait until 2020, right? If that's the case. It's, it's cool right now because most of the people I think that are going to buy this NFT are not into crypto at all. So if we have the price set, right? Like say you're like, you're going to buy this NFT and it's at 0.2 ETH. That's going to be that no matter what, right? Like we're not going to, yeah. we're not going to make note the US dollars went up or down. So we're just going to fucking move the ETH price up or down. We're going to set it there regardless of what that means in US dollars, right? So if the market keeps crashing, if we keep it at 0.2 ETH, that means like these people are going to be able to buy into the bash and get this rookie NFT for like a hundred dollars mm. at the time of purchase. If the market goes back up by January, which I hope it will, but it might not like we'll also like, it's a win-win for customer and yeah. us, right? Because by that time it goes back up, it's like, okay, they all paid a hundred dollars, but now we basically got $300 for every $100 they paid and it didn't, they didn't lose. At yeah, yeah. So it's probably wildly ignorant to try to like, time and guess the market Which, and it's yeah. nothing else we could do right yeah, we're just yeah. gonna operate as if we were gonna do it anyways but it's much better than the eth price being really fucking high and then needing it to stay there throughout the course of it my other thought is like if we can sit on the eth like i'm hoping by that time eight months six months down the line when we actually have to disperse the prizes and use the funds that we don't actually have to take the eth out we can use whatever cash we have on hand to support the prizes and support whatever however we want to fund this shit um so that we have the runway to wait for ETH to go back up for years if we need to. Yeah. That's kind of the plan right now. Okay. And that I'm makes sure sense. it'll go awry and shit will go fucking nuts. But like, yeah. we're going to, you know, we're going to try to fucking send this thing. And I feel like we're in a pretty good spot with it. No, I mean, overall, like the whole thing, the whole project sounds 
exciting. It sounds like a lot of fun. I just feel like the the only thing is the crypto. You know, like even if the, someone's in the the market right now, even like that it's shit. They're gonna be like, yeah, I'll do it because I'm already in it. But to get someone just reading news articles from CNBC saying crypto's thing. over, yeah. it's never coming back, and so, like so Bill Gates just tweeted like. Those are, well, I don't know what he said, but yeah, I know what you mean. With his that's loose like, skin. That's, that's like, you lizard. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking Microsoft lizard ass motherfucker. It looks like he's held together by rubber bands. That's Ooh, get him. That's all I got. Okay, that's it. Um, that, see, the, the important part for us is to convey that, like, you don't care about the NFT or crypto. Yeah. It's like what you're getting is just entry into the batch. Like, you're, you need to just be excited about that. Like, every other NFT project is like, get our NFT. It's like, I don't give a fuck. If you're excited about buying an NFT from us, just like you, I want you to be excited to get into the tournament with us. Yeah. But the way to get in is you have to do this, you know? And it's like, they don't, they don't understand it now, but they'll thank me in five fucking years when they do own this NFT. Yeah. And it's like weird. They're not No, yeah. I'm still stuck on the side of like, say you get like what? 500 people do the NFTs and the 600 would be easy if it wasn't NFTs. But how do we get those people essentially? Like, I know you guys can do like a video to show how to like open a a wallet, I don't know everything, but how can you convert? Like, all right, you, you want in, you got to pay this price, and we'll like set it up. But is that too much to do? We already filmed the video, the instructional video. It's like fifteen minutes. We, we show them how to open up a Coinbase account, a MetaMask wallet. What if Coinbase goes bankrupt? Open C account. It's a good question, I guess. Open C is getting sued. It's a lot. Yeah, I don't think they just shut that. They, they're not just gonna like shut down right now. I, honestly, Coinbase, I don't know. Open C, yeah, but Coinbase is the one that I'm like, dude. It's Whatever, like, we'll figure it out. I'm, yeah. the, I'm just playing devil's advocate. No, nah, no, it's fair. It's just like, that's insane. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what we could do there. I mean, here's the thing with a project like this. The only thing you can do is be as transparent as possible. Because like, if you show it, uh, if something goes incredibly wrong and you have the right intention going into it, yeah. there's nothing you could like say that will make you sound... I mean, end of the day, this is a fantasy football league. So it's not like they're investing into something that's insanely like they they wanted something a hundred percent out of it except like yeah. having a good time i mean we could always the entry is just yeah like worst fucking case scenario like somehow the president's just like crypto's banned in our country or some bullshit like that yeah we could do a u.s dollar buy-in somehow it like deflates the energy i have for the 100 percent. yeah because i know how how cool this project will be long term yeah no, i get it i get it yeah, dude, I'm, that's really what's been, like, overtaking my mind because there's so many loose ends that I need to, like, be on top of with that. Like, who could have, I mean, everyone predicted it, but who could have predicted it been this bad with NFTs right now? Yeah. And all that shit. But what I'm saying is, like, that has no, like, the, the, the market of NFTs has had literally no impact on my mindset with the project. Like, I'm not... Well, that's like, that's know. reassuring. Yeah, that's... Because I, I think, overall, the, the, the project overall is just a home run. It's like, you're, you're finding good people that just want to play fantasy football, but in a... Yeah, not, not in that like charity league. Matter, it's yeah. like a huge league for everybody. So that's exciting. I want to hear some? I'm gonna change it because you said something about the U.S. dollar. You know what I found out today? That Russia, if you have money in their bank, every month they're taking one percent out to fund the war and government. So Are you, you have, serious? Yeah. So if you have money in Russian banks, you can't take, like they're just taking one percent out. Damn. Yeah. Why the fuck would anyone leave their money in there? Like, but you can't take it out either. Like, Why? it's like. Because it's Russia, it like I don't think like, you can't. Is this true? Yeah, I swear. I just found that out. So you put your money like, in we the had a Russian cl- bank. You can't take it out, and then they take. No, like, you can take it out, but you can't take out all of it. Like, you, yeah, it's not. That's ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Dude, I f- this world is insane right now. Is that even the most ridiculous thing you heard this week? Like, no, nah, probably not even close. It's like a chupacabra in a San Diego zoo. <laughs> and you're like, who is it? And it's like, it's it's a chupacabra. Who is it? Yeah, it's like, who cares? Just move on. We have, <laughs> we got gas to Dude, pay. The last for. couple of years, I was actually thinking about this. I was sitting at the park like <laughs> two mornings ago. Tell me. And I was like, we're in the middle of these last few years where we just like sit here and we're like, ah, oh, this is fucking crazy. It's just crazy. Chupacabra, crazy. But like in 20 years, we're gonna be like, that might have been the most insane three run stretch of like humankind it, but we're we started it, so this like, we started this in the united states fearing that a clown would be in the middle of a field or a parking lot that was going to attack you that's how like the clown trend huh what are you talking about? yeah the clown trend i feel like that was the start of the end of <laughs> no, everything. Like 2016 it was good times Love yeah, and we were like, I can't wait to see a clown. Now it's like, I can't wait to see a chupacabra. <laughs> like, this is like, what? How are we still here? Yeah, it's just getting out of hand. I'm actually um, a little bit nervous for us hitting like a really bad depression. Like, not emotionally. <laughs> just like going to soup kitchens and stuff. Yeah, but I don't, I don't think, I don't think people will ever. Uh, I, I'm, I'm nervous about like because what we saw during COVID was very unprecedented in terms of how yeah. how high things shot up really quickly. 
And I think the majority of people that have any understanding of investing and, and finances kind of learned on the fly by throwing themselves in it while it was in the best market of all time. And I don't, I think because it went up so highly, there's probably an equal but opposite effect on it. Oh, yeah. Where it's like, okay, that was something we've never seen before. And people are like, listen, the stock market takes the same trends always. It goes up and then it goes down. But like, when it goes up to a point you've never seen, it can also go down to a point you've never seen. Like, it can get really, 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 really bad. You could say, you know, bounce back soon. But like, you could just, what if, nah, what if this is the worst thing we've ever seen? But it doesn't kill you. But like, what if it's the worst we've ever seen? The only thing that's like, that lets me sleep at night, because I, obviously I'm reading everything about this, like, am I gonna, am I gonna make it out of this? <laughs> and, they were like, yeah, 2008 was crazy, but in no way it could be, like, that bad. It could be way worse. No, like, with the housing and stuff like that. But they're saying, like, that, like, I don't know. I'm just, you see, you just. There was just so much made up money. Like, there was just fake money. That but was, I feel like those people were, like. Like, those were, like. Are you like, like, do you have cash on hand? Yeah. You do? Yeah. Okay. See, my my worry for yeah, me and us personally is, like, this, this has, like, a real, I'm, you know, we're in the age and at the time. Is this recording? Yeah. Check, check. Mine? What's up? Yeah, but mine? Oh, no. Fuck. Oh, oh dude. you put on three? Shit. Check, check. Fuck. That wasn't recording at all. You don't think they heard anything? Probably came through there. Fuck. Whatever. Let's just continue. Um. <laughs> just like the stock market, we're bike. <sighs> Fuck. Maybe it's better than hearing. Oh, that's good. What was I saying? <laughs> Cash, you have no cash. cash. Oh yeah, because see, we're we're like at the age now where the like the actual economy and like the depression matters will really affect us in yeah. super tangible ways. Like for me, that could mean um, like companies we've had equity in, right? That I was excited about. I'm like, oh, we have equity in this company. Like it's gonna be huge for us. It's like some of these companies now are having trouble raising their next rounds because the dudes who are valuing them at a billion dollars a company. We're doing that because they had a hundred million in Bitcoin. They're like, I have no problem investing into this company. Now they have no money in Bitcoin. They're like, wait, I don't actually want to invest into it. It's, it's hitting like, it's, it's at the point now where it's squeezed out all the bullshit. It's only like the cream of the cream of the cream of the crop is going to get investments and it's not going to be at the same valuation. It's only going to be at investments that have no leverage anymore to push. Yeah. So it trickles down to us and like the creator economy too. Like we signed a nice deal with, you know, price picks, obviously, and that's, you know, it's lucrative and it's amazing for us as a company, but like the next turnaround, we might have a lot of companies that are just like, you know, we can't, like, we'd love to work with you, but we can't invest that type of money because we don't have it right now as a company. We just had to lay off 30% of our workforce. Like we're not yeah. going to, you know what I mean? Like, I it, think of that too. yeah, yeah it's, true. I mean, it's going to be like a real, real trickle down effect. That's why like, we just have to, you know, keep doing the best we can right now and power I, through it. The biggest problem with this too, like people invest things they shouldn't have ever invested in and like, you should see it on Twitter. Someone was like, oh, look how bad NFT did. And like, they're like, I, I lost my home. It's like, bro, why did you put a, your whole home in there? Yeah. Like, you know, it's like, what? Like, that's the investing one on one. So I'm saying, like, and we're at you, the age. Like, for you, it's like different because, like, you produce, you try to get it. But if a company doesn't have it, like, that, that's not a fault on your own. It's just like the economy. Yeah, but like, you know, I'm not going to look at it that way. Well, yeah, I know. But like, you can't, like, it's not like you did something wrong. You know, it's like these people did something. I don't, I don't get stocks that much and like i know like you could borrow on like td and stuff once you have like money in it and everything that's what they did and i was like okay they asked for their money back you don't have it that's like that's just a bad business deal you just did a like that's just I borrowing mean, money 101 well that's like any that's like hard times in life is when you learn the fucking lessons that you need to learn you know and that's what i think we kind of like are about to go through in a really really serious way i just want to know how long it'll be that's what i'm saying like we don't who the fuck like knows? we stopped life at 27 and then at 36 is it go like, back to like normal? what if, like what if we have a recession for six years and it's like and then we and then 10 years later we look back and it's like that was the worst recession of all time like that's a it's a thing like it could happen yeah. you know like i don't know if it's gonna happen but this is like not it's not good yeah it's not good it's not good at all so that's fucking Things to keep you up at night yeah dude the overall econ is not fun right now uh we fuck dude there's one other thing i wish i could fucking talk about on this right now that i'm really excited about but I literally had to sign an NDA for it, so I can't talk about it. Fuck. <laughs> okay, moving on. <laughs> had to give Sexy a fucking lesson on leverage today. What did he do? Uh, on one of our TikToks, there was this, there was like a company that commented on it and was like, yeah, we should collab. And it's a company that has like 3 million followers or some shit like that. Yeah. And it's like, it's like whatever. They're like content creators. 
sexy goes and DMs him. It's like, hey, we'd love to collab, you know? Like, I'm like, dog, one, don't ever communicate with other brands or companies without, without, without written consent of the fucking police. Two, yeah, I was just like, listen, sit down. I'm going to teach you a lesson about fucking leverage today. I'm going to teach you a lesson about not needing fucking anybody else, you know? Yeah. She so sat down and was like, the minute... One, it comes off desperate as shit to yeah. reach out. It's like, it, it was such an informal, it was literally a TikTok comment. It was like, we should collab. It immediately, it was just like, we'd love to collab. Like, what do you have in mind? And I'm like, why'd you do that? I'm like, yeah, I'm like, don't ever do that shit again. It was like, one, when you do that, it comes off as if we're, as if we need to collab with them right away, mm -hmm. right? And the way we've always operated, and we will always operate, is like, we don't need anyone, right? Like, we create our own fucking leverage. As soon Long as you wolf. do, yeah, as soon as you do that, you lose any leverage that you need. And when it's a company, like they have 3 million followers on TikTok. It would yeah, be a, a good lot. idea yeah. for us to collab with them. That's not the way you go about doing that though, right? What they did was informal, which tells me they're not really that serious about it. If they want to link up, if they want to do something yeah, with us, DM. they'll DM me, they'll email me something sincere like, hey, I love your shit. I've been watching for a while, X, Y, Z, something sincere in it. So that's like a baseline start. If I saw that and I was like, this is a company or brand worth um, doing something with, then I would choose if we wanted to invest into creating a relationship with them. So I'd reach out to them and be like, Hey, let's get on a call. I'm like interested in learning more about your company. I'm not trying to do these like one off fucking stupid little collabs that mean nothing, right? Everyone's just trying to get a nut off real quick. I'm like, I'm not, that's not what we're about here. Plus we build up enough leverage that you just, you just like don't ever want to need somebody. Right. Yeah. And that, that it's like, you need to just continue doing good work over and over and over and over again till these people like want you bad enough that that they do eventually reach out and do that shit. So it was like sexy. Don't ever, ever, Did ever. they respond? I don't know. Let me see. Look at him just eating over there, d dwelling on his. No, like look at the, oh, my, my stomach cringed into my nutsack when I read this. Yeah. I was like. That's like when someone was like, I'd love to work you, you. Here's my resume. And that's, like, that's exactly what I said to him today. Yeah. I was like, you know what energy that gives off? Someone emailing be like, I want to work for you guys. What can I do? I'm like, there's no chance I'm giving you a response on that. Yeah. They're the ones who have leverage over us right now in a number sense. We don't need them. I don't care if we were. I don't even know if I like their content. But saying like, what do you guys have in mind? Now there's no chance they reply. Saying like, oh, now we need to do the work of creatively figuring out a way for us to collaborate. Well, zero mind. chance. They sit here and guess Ike's lunch. Yeah, like <laughs> they're not gonna like. Oh, there's no sexy, chance. sexy, sexy, sexy. Yeah, it's okay. He's learning. Yeah, now it was, it was it was a learning point for him. Literally chop up his visa. Yeah. and call immigration. Probably he actually he, he is like following along the Ike's lunch similar. Oh, I like mean, diet. Honestly, where do you live in Canada? Where they they probably had nothing. I don't know Saskatchewan. Is that Canada or New Jersey? Or is that a place? <laughs> I just say I feel like. There's a place in New Jersey called that, but that's like a region in Canada. Winnipeg, I think he's from. Now you're just saying things. Winnipeg. Not Ontario. Winnipeg. Are you serious? I can't tell. I'm not sure. Okay. Like I'm being serious, but I don't know if I'm right. I think it's Winnipeg. Winnipeg better learn these motherfucking rules. Yeah, he's struggling here in America. Dude, it's diff different times, different lives. Yeah. Um, Sunday was fun. We had brunch. It's nice to let loose for three hours. It was. I, I don't feel like, uh, actually, <laughs> I think I, I got pretty drunk later on. After you guys left, mm. me, Julia Montana, Tony went to the park. We chilled at Washington Square Park for a while, and they just, like, kept getting caught up on, um, what's that, peanut butter whiskey? Oh, the Jack Daniels one or whatever it is? It's not Jack it's Daniels. It's disgusting. It's uh, ski, ski ball? Uh, screw ball. Screw, screw ball. ball, okay. So they were going nuts about it, and we're like, go get your fucking, go get it if you want to go get a bottle. So they come back with a bottle. We're playing this game. It was actually fucking fire and sick. So it was like we have, the, we have four people and basically any two people at any time can just think of any two random words, right? It would be like the first person be like, got one. Second person be like, oh, I got one too. Be like, okay, whoever third or fourth person will count down. Like three, two, one. And you say, the, say each of your words at the same time out loud. And it's say you say like brick and I say bike, right? Basically you need to find a connection between those two. So you need to find one word that connects those two. And that's where like any of the four people can say, okay, got it, got it. And then you count down three, two, one. And the two people eventually have to say the same word, like being the connector for it. Okay. And anytime we got it, we would take a, we'd play and we'd take a swig of the bottle around it nice. and almost just like trash the bottle of whiskey while we were at the park. That's disgusting. It was so fucking you probably got rough. pretty hammered because we, we, we drank a lot, not a lot, but we had a couple of pitchers and then you had a couple of beers in the next bar. So mm -hmm. did you cry that night? 
No, uh, not at all. Oh, nice. So good happy time. It was actually had a very happy ending. So you fell asleep yeah. for eight hours? I, I cried and <laughs> fell asleep. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that was fun. It was good. That was like an all-around just like good energy day. Nothing yeah, it bad wasn't bad. It, except for when you start causing problems. I did not... I don't even... That's such a... You're just an instigator. No, that's such a bullshit yeah. like, thing. You just when, like when do I get to be not that guy? So when we were younger, I would be the peer pressure guy slash the anarchist guy slash I love the problem guy. You don't think you're a peer but pressurer still? No. That's insane. Dude, for th- for at least for the last three years, I've been so contained. Like, I haven't... It's still who you are, though. No, it's not. It's I'm ripping different. out of you. No, I'm Look different. Look at that chain. This is, I got the chain when I was like one. So it's been with you forever. It's the chain, Damn. Yeah. No, but that's not fair. I don't get a what well, I don't get a fourth chance. Answer me. I'd give you a chance, but it, you just keep doing it. What happened? Was the last time I I did something? Sunday. What I do on Sunday? You were just doing things. I did nothing but problems. be nice. I didn't cause any problems. This bullshit. <laughs> I was yelling at Heather about this too. You too. Anytime I like take a, an extra shot, you're like, oh, here we go. Here's Steve. That's not true at all. It's so true. It has nothing to do with you taking an extra shot. Like if I drink one more than anybody else, oh, here, Steve's going after it. That's Can't not. enjoy my time. That has nothing to do with my it. times. No, you'll literally be like, you'll like turn and be like, I need you to, I need you to growl like you're a fucking alligator right now. <laughs> yeah. But you did. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's not causing and, problems. How's and that causing like, problems? It'll be like, shut up. And then you'll be like, growl like a fucking alligator. And then you do it. I've never done that. You've never done it. It's I, not to me. I don't care if you do it to me because I will never accept it. You've done it before, but anyways, that's not causing problems. It's causing fun. <laughs> oh, I'm yeah. I'm a fun guy. I oh, should be. It's like it's like when you bully someone. It's like I was just doing it for fun. Yeah. So you growling like an alligator, which doesn't that was just, make that sense. was just an example of you know but that's what not I meant. causing problems. Yeah, it is. You guys make it seem like I'm out here punching walls like Kyle's, <laughs> me. screaming at bartenders like Karen's. I am Steve. Feels like you're projecting right now. I'm not pissed. I'm, <laughs> I'm uh, not pissed. I'm not pissed. I'm just disappointed on how you guys look About at yourself? me. About yourself? Okay. No. That's fair. Still love you, buddy. If it means anything. What else we got? Um, I, I'm waiting. Show me your a preparation a sheet. My we can go down. Preparate sheet? <clears throat> your preparate. Um, oh, we're about to drop a... Check this out. Look at this website I whipped together last night. Oh. It's pretty sleek looking, right? Yeah. I don't like the hat. It's fine. <laughs> You're not our target audience. A tear, but I like the shirt. I did that whole thing in like an hour. We can accept orders right now. It's nice. And Ike's lunch, a little merch site. Yeah. Let's go. So have you seen any fall off from him not being in an office on Ike's lunch, or is it still like the same thing? No. Um, Does Ike even matter in Ike's lunch? It's a great fucking point. Don't know. You might be replaceable too. Dude, so no fall off, but TikTok is crazy. They must have some software algorithms running. We've had like two or three different times where just things like drop off really quickly. Like, if you count, it'll literally be, like, a TikTok shoots up to, like, 400,000 views, like, 411,000 views in, like, an hour, two hours. Like, it's just skyrocketing, and all of a sudden just drops dead. Like, not a single view in the next, like, two hours. Anytime we've done anything relevant to, like, doing a giveaway, link in bio, anything that, like, takes it off that video, they have, like, a flag for it and completely just shadow ban you from fucking moving up. And it sucks because it has a little bit of a rollover effect. So, it's, like, we have— oh, wow. When we were first ripping Ike's lunches, and when it first got popular, they were going like 800 million, million three, million two. We were staying in that zone. We did the fucking one, the $100 Don's giveaway card. That thing got like 800,000 views in like two hours. It was going to be by far and away our most viewed thing. And then just dead stopped. And the next few after that, we're like crawling to get 100,000 views. And it like took us down. So we figured we can't really do that shit anymore. So we need to think of like, you ever seen TikToks where, you know, instead of porn, they say like corn and shit like that? <laughs> no. Like, they do, like, the weird voiceovers <laughs> in the TikToks. They can't say, like, sex, so they say segs, S-E-G-G-S. Oh. Yeah, they do that because TikTok, like, flags you and will cut your shit out. Oh, shit. If you comment, like, the word fuck in the comments, like, I always try to fight people on TikTok comments. They don't post your comments if you curse in them. Which is actually, like, kind of, I guess, like, nice. It Safe. makes it a little bit less toxic. Wait, so you can't <laughs> sell things on TikTok? You can have a link in your bio. You just, like, can't promote things, which is... What if you just, like, have a sign? So, yeah, so... Yeah, th- see, we need to think of, like, creative like, ways. The problem like is, like, <laughs> we don't even want to, like, pitch it, though. Like, we kind of want to just have him wearing the shirt or something, you know? You guys, and just, with you guys just being mimes. <laughs> just trying to set the shirts. Yeah, dude, this it, it's, like, tough. Like, that lamp? It's sick, right? It freaked me out when I first came in. Same. It's just really so excited. funny that, like, you're doing content here, there's content out there. Dude, How do just, you guys stay focused? Do you just wait? We're not focused at all. No. No, no one's focused on anything. It's out of control. I don't even think... So, say you were, like, a real boss. 
you are a boss, real boss. I'll take that back. But say you were like a mean boss. I didn't even second guess it. I wasn't even. <laughs> you're like, yeah, even like, on. you're yeah. like, go on. <laughs> I was like, oh, what if I was a real boss? I walked boss? in, an animal, like, he doesn't, even eat, he can't even pretend that his laptop's out. It's like still in his backpack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I was just like, Nick, what the fuck? Eat your ply ball on the windowsill. Get your shit together. My shit's together. Yeah, you wait, wait till we fucking, this football season, I think we're going to be making content for like nine different companies. I'm very confused. Same. Also, so you're doing the bash. Obviously, you got the draft guide and everything. You're doing all the regular things that you do plus more. Mm-hmm. And I know I see, I get notifications that you're still on YouTube and everything doing things like there. But so don't you start blowing up in general? Like, I feel like usually you start getting a lot of followers on YouTube by now. No, usually no? like, usually it's August, September. Oh, really? That's where like the bread and butter is? Do I, I think I do this every year. We're moving a little bit now. We're starting to see sub, okay. sub growth pick up for sure. But it's, yeah. But well, you're still like focused on YouTube, right? <coughs> I am for yeah. sure. Yeah. Well, when I'm not focused on the bash. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I haven't really got to sit down and focus on YouTube as much as I have in previous years, obviously, but I'm but not. you're okay with that? I'm not too worried about it right okay. now. And you still have Noah uh, doing videos for you and everything like that. How's that going? It's good. Same yeah. as, you know, we're actually, I'm going to get a call with him next week. To uh, talk about like what we want to do during the season. Okay, who um, else is doing content for football for you? It's just you two. Well, what I would like to do is in season have almost all the content be bash related, so that everybody can contribute to it. Mm. You know, and it's it's kind of a tough line between like that's what I would like to do. You know, but what works on YouTube is just like is very. We would almost have to be like lying in the thumbnail and the and the titles in order for it to be like what we were actually talking about. But I think I'm probably okay with accepting that that's like not the way we're going to be covering fantasy football, and we're going to be looking at it from much more of like an engagement and like lifestyle perspective. If we're all in the bash together, it's easy for us to put out three to four long form videos a week. That I'm on it, animals on it, Tony can be on it, one chains can be on it, like snacks can be on it. anyone who's in the in the big dog bash can kind of be like a rotating personality talking about fantasy during the week because yeah. because they all like at the end of the day they don't look at it the same way i do they're not diving into like the numbers and the mm-hmm. analytics behind it but they all like have emotions going through fantasy football right like they're all in a bunch of leagues and they could be like yo this pissed me off like i want this guy this guy whatever right they all have their own thoughts yeah and this gives them a way to kind of like put it in motion so i would love if during the season whether we tailor it like, you know, normally I do like a waiver wire show, right? Where I'm like, these are the guys you need to have on your waiver wire. If we're all in the bash, we're all in different leagues. Like we could talk about our leagues and talk about our waiver wire together. Because it doesn't really matter. Cause exactly. It's not like yeah. you're having tricks. With and it puts less pressure on me to have to deliver on content throughout it. And I think it'll create more of a loyal fan base or more of like a dedicated, deeper fan base if we're more just like all in it together, you know? Mm-hmm. So that's kind of the direction I would like to go during the season. So do you, if the bash is successful, you think that's just now going to become like your fantasy football content, like based around that? Yeah, I think so. The other thing How too is... How do you think other people will take that since you have such a big fan base on Other fantasy, people in terms of what? Like not in the league, like not in the bash. See, the thing is like I want to make it... Val- I want to I want to take all the value that we would typically give out. <laughs> I want to take all the value that we typically give out and just relate it to the bash. Mm. So it's like, okay, you know, I might sit here and talk about 10 waiver wire guys that I want to pick up, but like, I'm just going to be like, oh, in my bash league, these are the seven guys on the waiver wire. Like I want this one because of this, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, but anyone, because we're all in it together, like they could also do that. that you know what sense. I mean? Yeah. Rather than just like random guys and shit. Cause I'm just like, I'm, you know, I've been burnt out on that shit for years already. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. like, this is an a easy way to bridge the gap there. The other thing is getting the sponsors on board for the bash. It's like, yes, you can get sponsors on board, but like you're also returning something to them. Right. And most of them want us to do like content for them. Right. If it's not a, if it's more of like a fantasy related, like for instance, we just got off a call with sleeper who's hosting the thing. We're like, we want a financial investment from you guys. So you guys can pay for like a grand prize for us. And like in return, they're like, we want you to make two YouTube videos a week dedicated on our platform. We want you to make like two to three TikToks a week that we're going to post on our TikTok and like vice versa. So we're going to have like anywhere from two to three companies that we're making content for as well on top of that. That's all, I think that's great just because now it's just too. like... It's what we are. We're a content company. Like, yeah. you know, like... No, and this is great now. That like purpose. This is the purpose now of having all these people now exactly, just to yeah. do content more content, more content, more content in, in a place that you can do content, not just like in bedroom. So yeah, we had, like, we had like to bridge finally that. seeing it full circle. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a fucking exhausting bike ride to, to take that fucking circle. Yeah. It's t- taken. 
You know, <laughs> I feel like I started my my corporate career at the same time you started your BDG <laughs> career, yeah. and finally, this year might be the year we're here that we're we we did what we said we were gonna do. Yeah, this is it. Um, the sleeper also another little update. They want us to host. Uh, did I tell you about this? The Super Bowl? No. So they do a, a league every year where they have one company or brand. They, they they have a fantasy league, and they call it the Sleeper Bowl. And they have one company or brand in the space host it on their YouTube channel, basically. And three years ago, it was the fantasy footballers. And then two years ago, it was them again. And it's their two most highest view videos on their channel still to this day. Yeah. They didn't do it, I don't think, during COVID year. And then they let establish their own ETR with – Evan Silva and Adam Leviton last year. And then they reached out to us while we were talking. They're like, we want you guys to host it this year. And when the footballers did it, this league was like celebrity. I'm talking yeah, yeah. Zach Efron, Ninja, uh, Juju Smith-Schuster, like Jeez. big time yeah. fucking dudes. It It's not like that anymore, unfortunately. Last year it was all like fantasy football analysts. Gotcha, that sucks. Um, <laughs> no. Yeah, this year they have, no, no, I mean, for sure, compared to the other dudes. Yeah. Uh, A.J. Dillon and Marlon Mack are two running backs in the NFL that are, like, fantasy relevant, and at least one of them are definitely in it. A.J. Dillon was in it last year. He's actually the defending champ. Dillon and Marlon Mack are probably going to be in it. And uh, I was just like, yo, let me let me fill out the rest of the fucking league. Like, let me curate this shit. Yeah. Like, get any celebrities you can get, but let me, like, do the rest of it. Yeah. So we're going to host that, and it should be every year they've hosted it on whoever's YouTube it was, it's their highest viewed video of all time. Wow. So this could be big for us. And they're like, they're like, yeah, like, you know, the fantasy stuff is cool, but we're trying to be more of like an edgy tech company. Mm-hmm. And like your guys' voice fits what we're doing to a whole nother cool. level. Yeah. yeah. But that's kind of so, cool. Why do you think celebrity stop? Do you think fantasy football and essentially like has died a little bit or? No, um, I was curious about this before we got on the call too, because I was like, why would you go in the other direction? Um, I wonder if it was like a conscious choice that they went fantasy and they said it was a conscious choice to go with more fantasy football analysts because when they were doing the draft, they wanted the stream to be more interactive Mm. where it was like they were bringing the fantasy analysts online to like talk about fantasy while it was happening. When you have guys like Zach Efron and Jets, like they didn't get them on the calls, which I don't know if they weren't capable of doing it, or the timing was bad or what, but they just didn't. Or, like, it was just, like, you said Zach Efron's picking and it's his and it was brother <laughs> Tom, like. No, nah, because they would have to, like, post about it sometimes on Instagram and Twitter and shit. Oh, yeah. It could, I mean, it yeah, could have been his family member. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I feel like that's what works. Um, yeah, so I was, that like, sense. yeah, I was, like, let me get guys who, like, got some sauce in the fucking industry that'll be fun to bring them on. Because we'll host it here. We'll bring people on through the stream. But I was, like, the more, like, bigger name people you can get, the funner it would be for us, obviously. And I was, like, dude, you should. I don't know if we could set it up this way, but. You know, every league has, like, a group chat, right, amongst the league. And I'm like, if we can figure out how to get a group chat and just literally make it public between the 12 people in it, like, that'd be fire. People would love to follow along and just see who's talking shit. Can you just do that, like, on a Discord chat? Um, Yeah, but other people, I guess, yeah. But other people can... No, you don't. Can't you lock it? And then so people can watch. You know how they do, like, those Twitter things to mute everybody? That's not, a, that's not a bad idea, actually. That's good. I can go back to them with that. Because they could do it on their sleeper Discord, and they probably like that. Even though they're not fucking paying us anything to do this. We're just, <laughs> we're just doing it. <laughs> we're just here to have Too fun. fucking good, man. I'm too, I'm, I'm too good to the companies that I work with. That was what I meant. Do you think you need a lesson on leverage? You gave one to Sexy on a small level. Do you need one on a big level? Um, Are you being a little bitch? No, no, no. I understand leverage. Understand? I just don't always. Are you financially, I don't use it well. That's why I need an agency, I think, to run our marketing shit. We make five times more off sponsors 100%. and brands. I, I I've been charging some of the companies I work with the same price for four years. <laughs> and they're like, this guy's a fool. Yeah. We're making millions while he's making billions. Facts. What else we got? July 4th. Are we doing anything? I'm off. You going to have a party? I'll be down. If it's not 90 fucking degrees up. Uh, it's going to be 90,000 degrees on my bachelor party. July's a busy month for me. Same. Are you excited? Or have you not even given a thought on my bachelor party because uh, you're busy? I don't even think about it until like two days before. <laughs> I haven't thought about anything in the last two weeks. Nothing. Have you called your mom? Nothing. Um, What's wrong with you? Nah. Yeah, go. When you go walk to Playa Bowls, why don't you put your fucking head AirPods in and call her? She'll be fine. We talked about this. <laughs> call your family. I gotta call my grandpa back. Shit. He called me last night. Call him right now. I'm down. Call him Champagne Poppy. So I ask him what he's getting for lunch? Yeah. If he says a hot dog again, I'm gonna be nuts. Foot long hot dog. See, let's let's go check in on uh, what Ike's lunch is doing right now. Whoa! Oh wait, yeah, 
this one's fucking cruising. 44 minutes, 94K, 250 comms. Update, the family is fine. <laughs> like, if I look around the office, like, Tony looks like the leader. If you had to do, like, you know when they you draft in, like, in the NBA game or They have different like skill sets. It's like, what would you give, like, Max's w- strong suits and his weak weaknesses and sexy and Tony? You know when they're, like, just j- jabbing like this in the game? Yeah. Um, how about you give me... How about you give me attribute? How about you give me the words or whatever, and I'll go like one to five. Okay, punctuality. Punctuality. Um, Tony five, sexy. Uh, I actually don't know it's sexy because he just lives in the office, so he's always here. <laughs> so he's never been like late for anything. Five, I guess. Animal. Um, probably a one. I mean, he's like shows up at like ten forty five every day. Not Are you that serious? I. Yeah, not that I have a problem with it, but I'm pissed. I, I'm not pissed. Let him know. Uh, oh. Creativity. You know what I will say? We have, we have a very our our whole office is creative. Like yeah, when I have a, all around. when I have a meeting for things that I want to get done, and I'm like, I need you know, like this is like a fun project. I'm really aware that I'm not the only one that can bring like creative ideas to the so table. They ex- all exceed expectations. Yeah. The only problem is like there's a difference between creativity and execution on creativity. Execution. Next word. Yeah. That's that's where everyone's got fucking problems. Honestly. That's where, like, not everybody has problems. You but should put a board out there with, like, five words. <laughs> and, like, in, like, elementary school with stickers. <laughs> like yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, like, we have so many fucking ideas. But a lot of them lead to, a lot of them lead to me needing to do them. Yeah. And I'm, like, I don't need more of that on my plate. Um, and, th- I mean, that's not totally fair. Like, obviously, people no, I do mean, shit. I, even coming in here now, I see, like, Max taking full, like, I am the creative, like, person here. And essentially, like... If you have something, just send it to me and I'll get it done. You know, like if I send someone to you, you're just hard in a go <laughs> about your day. Yeah. And like you see, like anytime I hear like sexy and t- Tony are just like fucking zombies. Like, yeah. you know, so everyone's getting their work done. I think it's just like, oh, it's a weird, this is a weird office. Like, I don't think I could ever, like I always said that, like, I, I, I think I would freak out here. Freak me out. Honestly, no, you'd be fine as long as we could open the fucking windows. It's hot in here. Not, not even, well, it's really hot in here, yeah. particularly, but it's fine out there. You guys are going to be all right. We're going to be fine. The way I look at it is like we just got to. You got to make it through the summer, see how it goes. We'll right? make it through the summer. I'm, I'm more worried about the fucking winter. The cold yeah, ass what, winter. What, whatever happens in the summer should dictate what happens in the winter, correct? Maybe. I don't know. I really don't know. I'm not like, we're not in a comfortable spot money wise. Yeah. You know, so it's like, I don't, I don't know what could happen. I really don't. I have no fucking idea. You can go red. We want to go red. I mean, we're already red, for sure. Big red. Yeah, we're huge red right now. Really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. We have a little bit of cash on hand, but, I mean, if you looked at earned money versus spent money so far, like, we're so fucking red. Really? It's not even close, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, concerningly red, yeah. Has the draft guide posted? When does that go? No, like August 1st. Oh. Yeah. So, you're just, that could be a nice... Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> you're scaring me. Yeah, I'm scared... Uh, Two. Do you, do you need some money? Like, maybe. Uh, we might have to take an investment. Oh, God. Nah, we're good. We're good for the year. We're good for one year. After that, I have no fucking idea what's going to happen. Like, I'm dead serious. How the fuck do you sleep? I don't, motherfucker. <laughs> what can I do to help? Make me money. <laughs> Execute. <laughs> Execute on creativity. That's, what we're, that's all what we need. We need creativity that's executed on. That's it. No. Damn, that's a scary thought. Yeah, it's fucking terrifying. But then I always think like this is what everyone got got through. You know what was weird, dude? I woke up today and like I don't even know how to say this, but like I am living what my twenty one year old self would have considered like the dream life down to a pinpoint. Like when I was younger, I used to dream about like here was my day today. Like I woke up like, I woke up in New York City, right? We got an office in New York City. Check. I went down to fucking Wall Street Fight Eye to have a meeting with, like, a, a startup lawyer to talk about, like, the equity within the company. Check. Like, I, when I was younger, I was like, that's cool as fuck. Yeah. I came back here. We filmed Ike's Lunch. We got on a call with Sleeper, the, the fastest growing fantasy company, tech company in the world. They want us to host one of the biggest fantasy football leagues in the fucking world. Like, these things continue to pile on. Then yeah. we, I get to film a fucking podcast with you here, like just for the fun of it, you know, it's like, 
this is like everything I ever dreamed of when I was younger. And it, it's just so difficult for me to be in the moment with it. I mean, I think it's going to be nice to look back at it. I don't, th- I don't think you've ever been a person. I have no doubt about that. I don't think you've ever been a person to live in a moment. After you were like, yeah, that was sick, and I just keep moving on. That's all. How you've been every single time. Yeah. You hate even talking about the past, yeah. but today, you like doing it. Today was like a really big like revelation. Yeah, it was like, dude, I'm. I wake up where I want. I work where I want. Like I'm doing business things that are real business things, like talking to sponsors. But like, it's a dream of talking to sponsors and brands that like wanted to work with us. And now it's like, I got six of those calls this week. You know, like I don't give a. F- not that I don't give a fuck, but like it's just that's a, a normal it's, day. Yeah, on Tuesday. You know, it's like business, business, content, business, fun, this, that. Like, hey man, when you think about it, you only got money for a year. Thinking about these fucking days. Yeah, that's that's those what, are the days that that's are what scares you. me. You know, it's like before you know, it's like those were the days. Or those are the days that I have to. Oh, those those bring those high, those lows high again. Yeah, yeah. You'll be fine. We're always fine. If not, I know. going back to Emerson, living with your mother. Yeah. <laughs> Vinny Chase and the Chasers. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we ain't going back to Queens, bro. No. We done? That's all I fucking got. Let's slap. I want to slap you with a tortilla. Oh, yeah. Actually, we'll do that. We'll, that'll be a TikTok. <laughs> That's fine. It's good. <laughs>